Uh, she's going in. Oh, uh, Brady just farted. Yeah! Everybody's naked around here. Here, oh. your highness. <laughs> well, this is the best office in the world. <laughs> The breakfast delivered to me, and then I get the USB delivered to me, and I can still stay naked while I work. What a weird boat. What a I weird don't know where <laughs> I've been landed. Where have you been? Liz made us porridge this morning and tea. Are you eating chocolate? This is our popcorn bowl from last night, and our whiskey cup, and our chocolate. From last night. From last night. And what do you do for you? What do you do for you? Your people's people. Oh, shame. I'm editing videos of us all, making us look amazing. Hmm. I don't know if you will accept that. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Delos, we explored the volcanic desert area of Sandy Bay. Delos. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Brian almost loses our beloved drone. And we hike to the highest peak in St. Helena. Well, for the last two days we've been smelling something terrible. And we thought it was sewage overflowing from the island, but it turns out it's sewage overflowing from Delos. Even though we've had the tank valve open, I don't know if that tube got clogged up or something, so now there's just shit like overflowing onto the deck. I don't like shit. Especially other people's shit mixed with mine. <laughs> Every time this toilet. What's wrong with you? We've got shit all the back of the deck, so we're gonna. It's all gathered at the back of the paddle boards. So I'm just gonna get some salt water and try and get the, the worst of the shit off the boat. Okay, go ahead. This is a sailor's worst nightmare, a malfunctioning head. That's the problem, it's just full. So the overflow just goes all over the deck. It's disgusting. For some reason, even though we had our tank open, it wasn't draining and instead overflowing onto the deck. We're going to try and just flush it out with salt water so that when I go to fix it, it's not so much nastiness in there. At least that's the plan. Before trying to troubleshoot, the idea was to flush it out with salt water as much as possible. We're going to try to go into the tank from the water line instead. Because you're thinking about the other option is to empty about 10 liters of shit water straight into our bathroom and it's gonna go all over, so I don't really want to do that. Obviously, our first choice was to attack the clog from the outside using an old sail baton we had on board. Oh, it's like rotten, it? It's kind of like a bend in the pipe, so we can't really get into where it's clogged. Well, that didn't work too well, so on to plan B. Dallas hasn't seen a pump-out facility since leaving Mexico seven years ago, so the deck fitting hasn't been opened in a very long time. So we can try and go down this way. So we could suck this out with the, the shot back. Any progress, Kaza? We're just trying to empty this tank out. Because if you don't empty it up, then it will all empty up into our bathroom. But the problem is with our bathroom, where we're going to have to deattach it, it's going to go not into the cupboards, into spaces where we can't even reach. It goes like down. 
further in where I don't even know. This, that's like the bilge or something that we can't enter. What a sh shitty surprise today, huh? It just delays everything. So many more things I'd rather be doing with my day. I know, man. I'm really sorry. I'm about to go diving. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, fuck you. the seconds we have got poo and pee all in our bathroom. You. I don't like seeing you in this position again, Brian. Uh -huh. I don't really think it's anybody's fault this time. It's just old, you know? If I lived in a house, I would call a plumber right now. Uh -huh. uh, I think the blockage is right in here. Get this where it becomes narrow. So stuff just collects in there. And so before I push something through there, we want to get a bucket and put it under there to catch all that. So I think everything that's in the bottom of the tank from here is just going to come out in one disgusting flow. Oh, here it comes. Oh, bro, I'm so sorry, mate. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Oh, it's all so bad. I'm just smelling my armpit right now. The only thing that's saving me. Oh, I'm just following the smell. Okay, I think it's quite good now. If Brian wants to maybe shovel in there a little bit more, I can do it. Well done, Kaza. What comes from nature goes back to nature. Oh, little did we know. There was a much bigger problem lurking around the next bend in the pipe. What happened? It just fucking it went crazy. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's, there's poo everywhere. The smell is incredible. The smell is so bad. What a fucking mess, mate! I know, we thought we had all the the tank drained, and then when I got that last clog out, like another ten liters came out, and like just a river of shit. Filled up our bucket, started overflowing all over the place. Like, I would say 15 liters of shit just gushed. Yeah, there we go. I've never seen that much shit explode out before. Uh, that was when we all kind of panicked and didn't even know what to do. I don't know if there was anything you could do. Hey, I wonder what Brady and Alex are doing right now. Having a nice dive. <laughs> scuba diving, probably seen some manta rays, maybe some sharks, maybe a turtle. And we're dealing here with some shit. I just cleaned the vacuumer outside on the back 
That was pretty nasty. We have to disinfect the whole bowl. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, it's just pure feces. Brian is pressing the flush and the water's coming through and we're, we're clearing it away gradually. So we're just getting all the poo out of the tank and until it gets clear. The water as it's gone into the bilge, um, it, unfortunately it has spread pretty bad. We just cleaned the back bilge. There is still shit water down here. Shit water in our bathroom again. Oh. A sailor's nightmare shit explosion. When that fucking shit started pouring, I was like, Holy shit! Oh, it's terrible. It's like a nightmare. It's a mess everywhere. I just finished cleaning the poop off that thing. We're now just trying to bleach the socks with the paddle boards because we touched all this stuff here while carrying out the buckets full of shit and yeah just want to make sure that this is clean now as well so nobody gets some nasty bacteria or something and here is the austrian way of dealing with <laughs> shit situation what Vo water and vodka all oh, right i like it lisa you're life saving vodka life saving you heard the captain You're full of amazing ideas. <coughs> Despite all this, it's actually been a, a nice day. Weirdly enough, it's been a weird day, a shitty day. <laughs> yeah, it just shows that you all pull together. Uh, yeah, you, you do it as a family. Alex and Brady are back now, which is really nice. Yeah, they have they no, have no idea. idea. What's your dive? It was good. It was cool. So, okay, the, that ship sunk in 41. <laughs> An old mate that we went diving with yesterday saw it sink and he was with us today and he was diving it in the mm. 60s. Mm -hmm. But he saw it sink like from shore. How crazy is that? Cool. It's really cool. Ankle. So, do you want to know no. what's happened here? Ooh, guys, it doesn't you look guys good. <laughs> uh. do, you, do you want to know what happened when you went? Oh, the toilet exploded. We had 20 liters of shit water gush and explode into our bathroom. No! Yeah. 20 liters. Four of us were just there and we were just like, shit, it filled shit, up. Brian the whole was trying to floor stop in the bathroom it and, and we were just standing in shit. So don't necessarily like touch a lot of things until we bleach some. Did it overflow over the bathroom? Yeah, the overflow, it yeah. exploded. <laughs> it was not it overflowing. Was we got it all on camera. Like, you know that bilge outside our bathroom? It's filled with shit. Yeah. What do you think after seeing the footage? That's just like delicious, amazing food. And then it turns into that. Shame. <laughs> right when we're done eating. <laughs> Grab the fork, gang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can feel I've... I can feel for you guys, definitely. It's a rough, it's a, it's a bad situation. More rum. I require more rum, Elizabeth. <laughs> and if you're wondering how often we said shit today, here is a little summary for you. Shit. 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 Water. Shit. 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 Water. Shit. Shit. Solid shit. 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 So how did the mission go today, Brian? It's pretty good. Uh, this is the piece that broke, so I think this is what caused the whole thing. When this metal corroded away, uh, stuff started getting caught on the, the inside of it, and then it eventually filled up and clogged the whole thing. So when I took this off, you can see that that's no good. And I looked for a piece of pipe in there. They had nothing, and then I was walking out of the warehouse, and I saw this thing laying in the corner. And I said, hey, can I have that piece of scrap? So, yeah, looked at me kind of weird. Turns out it's the exact piece of 
piece that we need. <laughs> How'd you beat? So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put this in the bottom of the tank, glue it, and then I might epoxy down a little bit with fiberglass, and then this would be the part that the, the new hose goes on. So how are you going to take out the old... It turns out it's so corroded, I was able to push it out with this thing. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm hearing some flushes back here, and that means something. How's it going, Brian? Well, it's not pretty, but I think... I think it may be okay. I had to end up putting another layer of epoxy on there. I just filled the tank up with salt water so we can put some toilet paper around it, maybe leave it closed for the night. Okay, so it's morning and it's time to see if Brian's MacGyver fix worked. Moment of truth here, people. Okay, so here's the toilet paper that we left and None of the toilet paper is wet, so that means that we have a working toilet! Yeah! <laughs> that is so exciting. With only a few days left in St. Helena, it was time to go through our boat to-do list. So, here's the list of things that we need to do before leaving. Okay. So if there's anything that we missed, let us know. And then we'll probably maybe assign these to people, whoever feels like doing stuff. So the first thing we need to do is take down and sew the sail. I wonder if we should take down the sail right now. Hello. Make sure to give a, uh, a, a briefing into the 4K. Give a briefing. Oh, oh Brian, you better... So always stand clear of the sheet, Elizabeth. Stand clear of the sheet. Hang on, boss. Oh. Always stand clear of the ladder, boss. Yeah, that... Brought it. Oh, okay. So it's going on out here? Anyway, we're gonna pull the sail down uh, and try and fix the leech line. So that's actually the the leech line that's come right out of the back of the sail. It sucks because with it flopping like that we can't tension the leech, which means we can't go upwind at all. And in order to fix that, we've gotta take the sail down. Lisa, do you wanna be on the halyard? Brady, you're on uh, Clue. Okay, unfurl. So we got the sail delivered and we were in Thailand. And then I went to go set the leech tension and it just pulled right out in my hand. And then they sent us this. They sent us a baton and their idea of how to push it through. But yeah, we put it through on the... Obviously and not the ideal place. <laughs> yeah. And now we're putting it back through in the right place. We've made it approximately two inches in. <laughs> and run into our first problem. The batten is not that long. So we're gonna have to do it in sections. So we're probably gonna have to put it in as far as we can. Cut it open. And then cut it again and restart it the whole time. <sighs> oh, that sucks. Look, the rainbow. Oh, the other end is right there. <laughs> Got the leech line back through. Ah! Hello, leech line. Nice to have you back. That's good. We're getting some things done. It's not all lounging around and fucking partying and stuff. It's good to do the hard work as well to make everything work. Yeah. And fuck, I mean, drinking a beer, and sunset, sewing a sail. Pretty good. So this is the end of the UV cover that chafed through. Yeah, good. We are taping it closed. It may last another six months or a year or something. Oh, so you're already like three meters in. 
another 20 to go. Yay! Progress. Good, we've got the whole UV cover edge taped now. Now we just gotta tape this bit, pack closed, and we're good to go. We need to clean the bottom. Okay. <laughs> Leisurely cleaning the bottom of our house. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, when was the last, well we had the bottom scrubbed in Cape Town before we left by all Barnacle Jill. Yeah. And she did a great job, but the bottom paint was from Thailand, so it's old. two and a half years old now. Normally, I mean, it's ideally you get it done every, every season, season and a half, so it's overdue to get painted and a lot of shit is growing on it. So we're about to leave on passage and we're gonna give it a clean so we can make optimum speed through the water. The movement of the boat just makes me throw up under there. Next, uh, change the oil in the generator. What you doing, Bray? Ooh, oil change. First oil change for the new generator has to be done at 50 hours. And I managed to screw it up. You did? Yeah, I miscalculated how much oil I took out and then I put the new oil in. And so I didn't have all the oil, old oil out when I put the new oil in, so I have to drain it all again. Oh, no. Just the new is mixed with the old, throw it away and start over. Shame! Shame. But other than that, it's going alright. Trying to make the least amount of mess as possible. Mm. Okay, thank you. We have the last shopping before we leave, so we'll probably get what, some potatoes, <laughs> tomatoes, oh, no, cucumber. Yeah. So today is provisioning. So we're going to try to get as much as we can because it, apparently Ascension doesn't really have that much. So let's check out what they have. Luckily, all the tomatoes and stuff here in Ascension are grown locally and all organic, so you get these massive, crazy looking ones. They're not all perfect and like nice looking, but they're really good and locally grown. So we're gonna stock up on a lot of tomatoes today. Yeah. Look what Lisa found and was dirty about it. Bing! It's good carrot. Another one. If we can find more red on the so I think we must got most of the stuff and they might put some local eggs on the side for us too. So I think we ordered like 30. I think they have them in the back, but they don't have the price yet. So it's like, so hopefully she will be here later today and I can ask her or tomorrow. So they won't be refrigerated? No. Perfect. That's great news, isn't it? And good eggs too. Good egg, good look. Uh, the other thing is, it would be cool if we signed the visitor's book. Yeah. So like yeah, draw a little button. something in there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you mind doing the flag thing? No, I can do it. I think I will work on the flag for Anne's place before we leave, because we want to make a flag out of the old sail with the Dallas Buddha man on it. Nearly every uh, sailing yard who is coming by drops some, something off there and yeah, we wanted to uh, bring a little piece of our old sail. So, for those of you who don't know, we're now putting up the flag. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Did it! Did it! Nice! What you doing, Elizabeth? Writing our little farewell. We've kept a book since the 80s of all the sailors that have been here. So this one goes from... 2009 to now. To now, so we've got... Oh, this is so cool. 
So I put, from the crew of SV Delos. Wow, what an incredible journey we've had here. Thank you so much to all of Saint Helena and her wonderful saints. We've never met such a welcoming and friendly bunch of people. Never change. St. Helena was the first place we landed from Walvis Bay, Namibia, now onwards to Ascension, then Brazil. Thank you from Captain Brian Troutman, Brady Troutman in the USA, Karen Siren, Sweden, Alex Blue Row, California, Lisa Hopp, Austria, and Elizabeth Earl, England. Fair winds to you, MA Fortune, smile on you always. Peace. www.svdallas.com <laughs> Nice. Shameless <laughs> plug. With our to-do list done, it was time to say see you later to our new friends and set sail towards Ascension. Up next! I thought the Atlantic was going to be like calm and stuff. It was really rolly. Um, there was one point I thought I was going to go flying out of my bed. And ho! I'm too small. That's what he said. A typical Delos evening with some bugs. Filming my ass, woman. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but God damn it, Austria. <laughs> what are you doing down there, Elizabeth? I'm just getting some sugar, some ice and sugar. Popcorn. What do you think this is, like a gourmet galley or something? No, yeah, if it was a gourmet galley, I'd have better service. Oh, a cheeky captain. I never made popcorn, really. This is like a new thing since I started sailing. I mean, Ryan, where have you been growing up? America. Arizona. There, there's a machine for everything. Brady's fancy face. It's my fancy face. Is it? Mm. Wow. His Royal Highness Mr. Brady refuses to put pants on. Entire ball sack is out. Like a ripe plum. It's getting out of hand. Go back to the way you were standing before. <laughs> I have a headache. Can I continue? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Uh, I'm out.